Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a straight to curly video. I'm just playing, y'all. I am showing you. Do y'all think my hair grew? Y'all thought my hair grew, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Y'all, I am testing out and showing you guys how to install some curly clip ends from Better Length. So if you are interested in this video, please keep on watching. So the hair that I received was the Afro Kinky Curly Clip-In Set. This is 18 inches and it says natural color, 215 grams. So this is one pack of the Afro Kinky Curly Clip-In. It also came with a little needle and thread, a straight needle and thread and two um, additional clips. So I'm assuming if when your clips fall off or you need to add additional clips they provide two in there for you um, which is really nice because you never know when you need an extra clip to go on your clip ends or if like your clip starts coming off or something and you need to sew it on it's nice that they include that little additional um, kind of toolkit I guess in your package it's pretty not matted together but it was in the package tightly so this is what the curls look like and they're banded at the top and right now my hair is freshly washed a little leftover conditioner um in my hair i haven't styled my hair yet i kind of like to put in my clip-ins when my hair is wet so it can dry all together and blend more seamlessly so that's the goal and when you unwrap the clip-ins you have five clips this is going to be one of your larger clips so you have two clip ends that have five clips on it two clips that have four clips two clips that have three or two tracks that have three in it and then you have four tracks with two clips so four shorter tracks with two clips on each two with three two with four and two with five so all together you have ten clip-ins and so what I like to do is start off at the back of the head I'm just gonna use a little bit of setting mousse and gel to style my hair and this one is the Aunt Jackie's Frizz Patrol setting mousse so I'm just gonna run that through and I found that finger detangling works best when adding clippings, and I'm using the ice curls gel, just putting a little bit on it. So now we're gonna take one of the two clippings, open the clips, and then we're just going to hook them like this and like this and then put them on top and kind of merge them together and we're going to use a little bit more of that foam and this hair is long sis hey when my hair get this length you ain't gonna be able to tell me nothing all right so i have a little a little bit of shedding, not much. You can kind of start mixing in a little bit of gel. You don't want to do too much gel because you don't want your clip ends to be all crunchy. Now, since I'm up to the ear, I'm gonna start kinda doing them not straight across, but kinda like staggered. So we're gonna take some of the hair above the ear, about right there, and we're gonna put a two clip there. Q 
here you can use another two piece clip or you can do a four clip that'll meet over where that two piece clip is. So I'm gonna take one of the four clips and I'm gonna start over here by the ear and work my way over to the two clip we just put in. So as you can see, when this hair is dry, it's all the way up here, but as you wet it, it's all the way down here. So it's truly your 18 inches. And I can tell it is a natural color. It's not um, like a 1B because I did dye my hair recently and I can tell the difference in color, but it doesn't stand out to where you really can tell the difference. And I'm not wetting the hair, um, which is why I'm using quite a bit of the foam frizz patrol. And then I'm also layering in some gel. So when you do the wrecking method like this with your hair in between, you're kind of clumping your curls with the clippings curls and that's why it looks more natural because you can't even see like my hair from underneath which is where you usually see like your hair shorter underneath the clippings i love clippings like this because they match your texture so like perfectly that you can really see like what your hair would look like if it was this length. I am having a little bit of shedding, so at the end I'll show you how much shed total. You can even like finger coil your hair with the track. And so then, you know, once it curls back up, doo -doo -doo -doo, it looks like all one length. All right, y'all, so this is what the hair is looking like. I think it blends very well with my curl pattern. It comes to about right here. And ooh, it's cold. This is how it looks in the back. So I'm gonna diffuse my hair off camera and then come back and show you what it looks like when it's fully dry. I do want to note the shedding. Um, it's a little bit more than minimal shedding, but again, it's not that bad for this to be curly hair. Um, so this was the amount of shedding that I had. And that is just from me finger detangling the hair straight out the package. Um, so not too much. I I feel like once you get that initial shedding out of the hair that it shouldn't shed um, much more as you continue to use the hair. So I have to update you guys on that. But so far, 
so good. I'm loving this length. Like, who is she? All right, y'all, stay tuned. Guys, this is the finished look. I went off camera and diffused my hair, and I also did my little makeup. Y'all, who is she? With all of this length. Can y'all point out my hair? I bet you can't. This is what it looks like. I have a bobby pin right here to kind of pull my bangs back off of my face. Um, I'll show y'all what the back looks like. Boom, baby. What's good? We got movement. We got coverage. Y'all, this gave me some better length, okay? On a real note, I really am digging this hair so far. The only complaint that I will say is that the hair sheds, but as curly hair naturally does, it's gonna shed. Again, this is how much hair that shedded. Um, a little bit more than minimal shedding, but it wasn't like a crazy amount. Like it was acceptable for me to be finger detangling the hair. I will say I look back at some of the footage and you can see in the light the difference between the hair colors, but it kind of looks ombre with the black merging into the natural color clip-ins, so it worked out great. Y'all, like, look how that blends so well. And I have it where I can like put it behind my ear. I love it like this literally gave me better length like if you are looking for a curly girl clip in I definitely rec recommend checking out better length um, this hair is full all the way to the ends which I really like because usually when I try out clip ins like you'll be able to see like my afro and then on the ends it'll look kind of gappy and spacious so I really like that this is full to the ends and like it just looks like it's my natural hair it has movement like it's not stiff and it just blended very well with my natural curl pattern and I may potentially dye these black. I don't know. I kind of like the black brown look. And yeah, I guess that is it for this video. I just wanted to give you guys a final look when the hair is fully dry. And I want to show you guys how I clip in my clip-ins when I wear them. Again, if you are interested in purchasing these clip-ins, I'll leave all the information to better length and these clip-ins in the description box below so make sure you check that out and if you are not subscribed what are you doing pause the video subscribe to my channel hit that like button give this video a huge thumbs up I think we can get this video to 200 likes what do you think I think we could do it 200 ain't even a lot like I think we could do it Give this video to 200 likes. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do that as well at Slim Roche. And I love you guys so much. And never forget, at the end of the day, without regrets, love yourself and be you. Tipple. Bye, guys.